All right, y'all, guess what? We're going to try and catch us some crawfish. And then when we catch them, we're going to eat them. So this is going to be a crawfish catch and cook. Right now, I got my trap. I got the the G's 40 minute trap. And I cut bigger holes in it. I don't know if y'all can see that. I cut bigger holes in it so it can fit crawfish. Big ones, too. Not just the little itty-bitty ones. We need them as big as they get. We got mouths to feed. Pretty much just mine, because ain't nobody else going to eat no crawfish out the swamp. But anyways, I'm going to stop staying around, and I'm going to go put this thing down into the water. All right, I'm going to set the trap right there by that log, that big log sitting in the water. They will like that cover, and it's nice and deep right there. And obviously, it's a real steep bank, so they probably hide up under this steep bank and dig some holes in it and stuff. So we'll set it right here. All right, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but got the trap down there. Hopefully tomorrow when we come and check it, there'll be some crawfish. All right, y'all. It's the next day. I'm up here about to check the crawfish trap. Uh, I hope we got some because I'm going to eat them for lunch today if we do. Might make something else with it too. I don't know. We'll see. Well, guys. This trap was kind of a bust. I ain't catch but one. But guess what? Right now I'm standing right here. Beside the, you know, right beside the, the swamp. And I hear all kinds of bulldogs. I mean, there's a ton of them. And they sound big too. They're like, you know, and they start sounding like a bass guitar. That's a big bullfrog. But I think I'm going to come back here hunting one night try and catch some bullfrogs to eat because one crawfish ain't gonna cut it i'm gonna reset the trap i hope y'all like this video if you did you know subscribe all that kind of stuff i'm gonna get on out of here probably reset the trap somewhere else but i'll see y'all later bye